We are at the 2018 Philly Auto Show Jeep Experience. I'm gonna take you guys on the ride with us over stairs and stuff. Mall crawling. That's what we're doing, we're mall crawling. Step one, you have to actually check in here. They give you a whole iPad full of questions you gotta fill out. Neat little things. So I have to restart the survey. I'm taking too long, I guess. Let's see if I can get this done right while I'm talking to you guys. So you fill out the whole survey over there. You have to tell them like how old you are, an email, and how much do you want to buy a Jeep, and blah, blah, blah. And then you come over and they're gonna pick the truck for you. You don't get to choose. It's kind of whatever order things come in. So it looks like we might get into the room yard. Or possibly the compass behind me. I'm not sure yet. We're going to find out in a second. We're not moving? Alright, so it looks like we will be riding in the 2018 Wrangler Rubicon JL. Come on in. Thank you. I'll get him set. Thank you. Jump on in, buddy. Get your seatbelt on. Jump on up. Howdy. Hello there, sir. How are we today? I'm um, having a ball. You ready to have a little fun? We are ready to have a great time. You don't mind if I take some video, do you? Yeah, as long as you keep it pointed out the front. Absolutely. All right. We've got the brand spanking new, freshly redesigned Wrangler today. Wonderful. This is the uh, JL, if I'm not mistaken. It is. Kept all the stuff we were worried about and only changed what needed to be. There were all kinds of really stupid rumors going on. Unibody, independent suspension, all kinds of idiocy. None of it was true. We still have a steel body on a steel frame. They did add some aluminum, but only where it was needed, like the doors, the fenders, and the hood. Kept the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6, 285 horse, and 23 to the gallon on the highway now, not 21. Swap this from a 5-speed automatic to an 8-speed automatic, but you can still get the 6-speed manual if you'd like. And with a 4-to-1 gear reduction in low range, there's just over 1,000 RPM and it crawls right up. Flawless traction with those 33-inch diameter all-terrain tires, up from the 32-inch diameter tires last year. And now you can actually put 35s on it. The wheel wells are big enough to accept them with no lift kit whatsoever. So factory 33s and lift to a, or with no lift, you can no swap lift. to a 35. Yep. 410 gears and locking differentials and our Dana 44 solid axles. Those are half-ton capacity axles. It's only a quarter-ton Jeep, so plenty of extra durability for off-road. And they actually gave them bigger, beefier housings this year, so they're even stronger than last year's Dana 44s. Now, a little word of caution. We're going to take you over some 8-inch tall reversed potholes and shake things up. Just don't want you to bump. Well, they won't let us bore into the floor, so we had to make them stand up. But don't want you to bump your heads. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have a little button on the Rubicon that lets us disconnect the anti-sway bar off the front axle. When you disconnect the sway bar, you get 25% more travel out of the front suspension. Hit it a second time and an electromagnet locks it back down, then it's a nice rigid platform for out on the street. Our tires never leave the ground anywhere on the entire course. Right. Doesn't even feel like you're rolling over anything. That's where the independent suspension jeeps have to lift their wheel three feet in the air to get over it. That's what this does. <laughs> then we do this. <laughs> 30 degrees sideways to show how stable they are. And of course the roof comes off, the doors come off, and the windshield folds down as always. We made the windshield much easier. Now it's four bolts in less than five minutes. Drops right over. Gave us all the electronic nudas. Blind spot detection, cross path monitoring, lane departure sensors, start stop technology, collision avoidance, backup camera with dynamic grid lines that just goes on and on and on. And one of the things I really appreciate, they let you turn all that stuff back off so it won't interfere with you out on the trails. You don't want to be cruising down the trail and hit some soft sand and have the brakes lock up and not let you move because, oh yeah, I forgot to turn off the traction control. <laughs> well, as we sit right here, we are top of the line, fully loaded, right around that 55,000 mark. But you get an entry-level sport these days for as low as 27. Beautiful world, but you're not going to see the good parts from the seat of a car. <laughs> I'm not walking that far. <laughs> well, thanks for going around with me. Well, thank you very much for having us. My pleasure. Not good. No. <laughs> there you go. Hey, have a great day. Yeah. 
So that was pretty fun. That was the 2018 Wrangler Rubicon JL. I was gonna say I'm pretty impressed. 33 inch tires from the factory. You could fit 35s with zero lift. Overall, not bad. Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment. Hit like. Tell me if you own a Jeep or you're getting a Jeep. Whichever it's gonna be. And always keep a full tank.